I have an article from Forbes.com here. I'll link in the description box if you can read it for yourself. But it's from Eric Kane, who usually I agree with. Sometimes I disagree with. Of course, that's always how it's going to be. Nick Merckx, 10 Attack Man. How about no more celebrity influencer operator bundles in Call of Duty from now on? I'm sure you've already heard Nick Merckx had his skin removed from Call of Duty for this tweet. Oops, there it is. They should leave little children alone. That's the real issue. It's in response to anti... Uh, there was basically a big, you know, fight over LGBTQ, either pro and lo and pro and anti people were going at it and stuff. It, it was a whole thing. That's a whole other story almost. And his thing was just they should leave little children alone. That's the real issue. And of course, some accused him of being bigoted and stuff. You've seen a lot, a lot of like actual headlines from places like The Verge and Polygon and so on and such forth, and places like that where you're like, you know, I, I wouldn't really consider that to be bigoted myself. That's just me. I look at it. The worst you could say is it's a little ill-informed or something of that nature. But anyway, he basically talks about how, you know, it goes through the whole thing about this stuff. Paul Tassie wrote a piece about it for Forbes, which I, I ain't going to talk about that because you, know, you can imagine what Paul said because he's pretty liberal for the most part. Anyway, he talked about Dr. Disrespect quitting and uninstalling the game to the tent man and show of solidarity, wanted his skin removed. But then he said that they probably got ulterior motives, which they probably do. Because they want to create artificial scarcity and stuff. But then he says, you know, he doesn't care about Easter Bunny, you know, freaky clowns, bad scientists, dudes with skull masks and stuff. But but can we please stop adding in real life people to this game? Actual influencers and athletes and celebrities who might say something terrible or assault somebody or say something that's not, that's not even that bad. But triggers the alarmists online and marketing departments and have to have their bundle revoked and all the ensuring controversy and silliness. We just let these games exist in our own fictional realm. Can we just play these damn games without being dragged into stupid political scraps and culture wars? Is that too much to ask? Is that too much to ask? You know, it's like, I 100% I, I agree with that. I would rather it just don't put in these real life people. If that, I mean, if that's what it is, ain't no big deal. Put in, you know, your, your goofy uh, style things, your Easter bunnies or your clowns or whatever. But believe the real life people, just leave them out of it. I would, I, I would absolutely 100% agree with that. You know, because even though I don't consider this tweet to be bad at all, you know, there's there's other ones that that could be considered bad, or like there's people who consider this to be a bad tweet because it's bigoted, if it's this, it's that, or whatever. I think the easiest way to do it is just not even have any real life people in there. Period. No, no celebrities, no influencers, quote unquote, or whatever. None of those people at all. Nobody. That way you don't have to worry about this kind of stuff. They can have them kind of exist in their own universe. You don't have to worry about politics. You know, you got your politics in my video game and all that kind of stuff. I would 100% agree with that. I would imagine most people would be in favor of that. Unless you're like a, a huge stand for somebody. Why would you want their skin anyway? You know, it's, I mean, it's just kind of, kind of one of those things where you're like, eh, I don't know about that. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here. So I've already talked three minutes. That's probably, I mean, hell, you guys probably already know all this story anyway. There's just a whole lot to say other than I think we can all agree on this. At least I would hope so. No more celebrity influencer, whatever, operator bundles in Call of Duty. I think we can all agree on that. If not, I mean, hey, let me know your reasoning. That's, that's cool. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one.